Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm turning a walnut blank into a plate or platter. I just tested the moisture level which came in at around six and a half percent here on marking center and measuring the blank and it is approximately 11 inches wide by 11 inches wide. And here I'm using the center finder to just double check my lines and also to draw lines around the edges so I can take it over to the bandsaw, which I did off camera as you can see. Here I'm drilling a hole for the uh, woodworm screw, which will go in the four jaw chuck. And here I'm securing it on the woodworm screw in the four jaw chuck, making sure that it's secure and tight before I bring the tail stock up and start turning. So starting out here with a bowl gouge and the RPMs are right around 540 here until I get it round and then I obviously I increase the speed. Just taking some slow passes here, trying to get it completely round. Some close-up shots here, still with the bowl gouge, and as you can see, it's, it's getting almost completely round here. Just continuing to take light passes until I can increase the speed even more. So transitioning here to make the foot of the uh, plate, making a recess and a foot with the uh, diamond parting tool here. And with the bowl gouge again, trying to um, start shaping the, the underside of the plate. I'm calling it a plate because it's different than the platters that, I, that I've been making, um, but some people I'm sure will call it a, a platter still. And that's okay. And everyone's favorite part, sanding. I started at 80 grit and worked my way up to um, 600 grit. I found the walnut really difficult to sand without marks. I actually went through the sanding process three different times until I was happy with it. Hand sanding and power sanding. So using the skew chisel here to flatten the top before I start hollowing out the, the inside of the plate. And back to the bowl gouge here to start hollowing out the inside.
And as you may notice as I'm turning, I changed my mind a couple times on where to have or how wide or thin to have the rim. Um, really just didn't know going into it what I wanted. So I ended up on the, the smaller rim. And I've stopped the lathe to check the depth to make sure I don't go too thin, which I've never, ever done, for the record. P.S. That was not true. And starting the sanding process for the, the front or top of the bowl. Same process, 80 grit all the way up to 600 grit in a, in a mixture of hand sanding and power sanding. And back to the diamond parting tool, which I'm using here to make a recess around the rim, which I'll put the use to put the mother of pearl inlay in, as you'll see in a minute. So here I'm using the Mother of Pearl inlay, just uh, placing it in the recess around the rim by hand. If you're interested in this brand, it's called Easy Inlay. I'll put a link in the description. And you can get it in different um, formats. This was the thin kind, but you can get it in the thicker pebble-like ones as well. Here I'm using a p just a piece of cardboard to <coughs> scrape around the rim removing the excess, making sure it's flat before I uh, pour in the resin, which I did not film, but here's a shot of uh, after the resin's been poured in. And I leave that overnight and then come back the next day and turn it. So here we are removing some of the resin. I used a carbide tool for this to make removing the resin a little bit easier. And even though I only poured resin in the recess, recess with the Mother of Pearl inlay, it did uh, overnight drip down into the bowl, which is not completely unexpected, um, just more than I, than I wanted. But it doesn't take much to remove it with the carbide tool. Doing a bit of power sanding here. Touching up the back as well. And some denatured alcohol to clean the surface before applying sanding sealer. One of my favorite parts, because you get to see how the grain is gonna look when finished. 
Here is the sanding sealer. It's a mixture of 70-30, 70, 70 sanding sealer and 30 denatured alcohol. So I apply the sanding sealer, let it dry, and then this is the axe paste uh, being applied. If you're interested in axe paste, there is a, a link in the video description, as well as a coupon code to, to get 10% off. And the axe polishing paste comes next. And if you order on uh, Axe, uh, you can get this as a kit. They come together, the polishing, uh, the um, sanding paste and the polishing paste. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. It helps support the channel. Um, click the thumbs up button. That really helps YouTube, let YouTube know that uh, people are watching the video and liking it which helps then get the video in front of other eyes, which helps uh, support and helps grow the channel. So your support, as always, is very, very appreciated. Here is the finished plate. Some pictures here at the end. So until next time, peace out.